on average, let's say a month, how many bikes would you would you steal and how much would you make as well? Probably around about 30 bikes, 35 bikes. Some of them sell, some of them don't sell. Probably around about 25 grand, 30 grand. Yeah, put that one on it, I'll rip it straight off. What, with your hands? With my hands, yeah. How would you steal this? It looks pretty, you know. Before you ride off, what would you do if your bike was stolen? I would be very sad. Would you report it to the police? What's uh, coming? What's coming? Dante <laughs> report. What would you do if your bike was stolen? Well, uh, I would report it to the police, but I did. Nothing happened. Dante report. I would yell. I would maybe try to grab him and get back my bike. Dante report. What would you do if your bike was stolen? Uh, it did. I feel this man's pain. This man being my A cameraman, Jib Rules. Like me, him and many others, our bikes have been stolen. This is not unusual for London, however. Bike theft has become an epidemic of sorts, with more than 50 bikes stolen a day, according to some statistics. Is that your bike? Huh? Is that your bike? The hurt and pain I felt from my bike being stolen is the reason why I'm making this video. To interview a bike thief and understand their motives and methods. To also steal my own bike in public to see if anybody will try to stop me. I can't actually reveal how I got the connection to the bike thief for obvious reasons, uh, but the only request that he had was that I shout out his YouTube channel. So here's his YouTube channel. Okay, that's enough promo. All right, so I'm sat here with a actual bike thief. First of all, let me ask, how many bikes have you stolen? Uh, too many to count, uh, probably about 450, 500 bikes. I've been probably doing it for about six, seven years now. How did you get into it? Things with money, when money's hard, just it's an easy, easy target. What type of bikes do you, normally, do you normally go for? If I want money, big bikes, African twins, GSs, big bikes like that to make money, but if I want a bike to get myself, I'd go and get, go and get SH300, Bev, just things like that. And what's like the riskiest bike to go for? Like what, maybe one that you wouldn't go for? Just something with too many locks. Is there like a specific bike lock that prevents you from, from trying to steal it? No lock could stop me from stealing a bike, but people, there's heroes that try to grab you or things like that, just avoid those sort of bikes. Just the easy targets. Have you ever had anything like a, a fight breakout or something like that happen when you were stealing a bike, getting caught or something like that? Uh, yeah, I've been rugby tackled by an off-duty police officer. He rugby tackled me, sat on top of me, he's worse out my legs and I got arrested for that. And that that's because there's so many people about it's near High Street. So what, you did it during like the daytime? Uh, yeah, daytime. Daytime's the best. Why is the daytime the best? Because that's when they leave their bikes with no locks. Nighttime they lock them lock their bikes up. If I follow someone at daytime and I've got a garage or a target and then fair enough I will do it at night time because it has to be a nighttime job but until then daytime's fine. So that line bike right there. Yeah the line bike's got no battery because someone stole it like what I told you earlier. Oh uh, someone's already finessed it? Yeah. So yeah give me a diagnosis of this. They just literally rip out the battery, use the battery for their own their own self. So you're telling me they literally just rip it? There's no like... Just, just rip it open. Could you take some of these parts and then, and then use them or, or is this useless now? I could take the seat pole, I could take, I could take a couple of things, but not really worth it. Do you ever steal any of the other parts? Let's say a bike is like this, would you maybe steal like a tire, a chain, something else that's valuable or is that not valuable to you? Just as long as it's a high-end e-bike, I'll take the battery, I'll take just anything I need really. Where do you sell the bikes to or like what's the what's the way to make the money from the from the bike theft? Uh, just sell it to people that ship it across board, uh, border to Bulgaria and stuff like that. I've got a couple of people that buy the bikes and send them abroad because if you send it abroad the numbers don't matter, the bike won't come up stolen so they get the legit money for it. Is there someone you contact specifically or is it like how does it, how does it work from like you getting the bike to actually to actually getting the money in your hands? Uh, multiple people, uh, I've got people that send them to Romania, people that send them to Poland, got, got quite a lot of contacts. Was it like fun to steal bikes? Was it like exhilarating? What was the, what was the feeling? Uh, at the start, yeah, it's fun. It's always fun stealing a bike but when you get caught it's not really that fun. Do you normally do it by yourself or with other people as well? 
I uh, usually have a group. No point of doing it myself because I can't tow the bike off myself. Can't you just ride it off? The big bikes, you can't start the big bike, so you have to just tow them off, push them away, hide them somewhere and get them sold. So you're telling me you feel like no remorse for these people whatsoever? No, no remorse. No remorse. I mean, not even like a little bit? I, I never get to see them, so I, I don't know how they're feeling. But if you did nothing. get to see them? If you, if you saw them, like, I'm guessing you'd feel you'd feel a type of way, right? Uh, no, not really. Wow, okay, okay. Do you recommend people to do this? Uh, no, because I want more bikes for myself. Like I said earlier, I'd rather, rather all the money go into my pocket than their pocket. What's the most expensive bike you've, you've stolen, would you say? Uh, the Caddy V4. How much did you sell that for? Uh, they sell about, around about four and a half grand. Wow. Was it like an electric bike, I'm guessing? Uh, no, nah, it's a motorbike. A oh, you still motorbikes as well? Sports bike, yeah, sports bike. At this point, I had realized this was no ordinary bike thief. This was a motorbike thief. And how do you still, is there like a, how do you still those? Uh, literally just, I'm on the bike, I, my mate jumps on the bike, I just tow him off, that's it. I put my foot on the foot peg yep. and rev my bike and it, it propels his bike forward. How would you react if someone stole your bike or was attempting to steal your bike? Uh, can't really say that. Can't really say what I do. Apart from police, have you had like any any fights or any altercations um, with someone that you've you know been caught with stealing a bike? Uh, yeah, yeah, a couple of times, a couple of times. I was in an underground trying to grind the lock off the bike. A man come down with a pole, so we had to defend ourselves. What if someone has like a tracker on the bike? What, what do you do then? Uh, signal jammer, turn signal jammer run. They can't track. They can't track it. It gives me time to look around the bike and take the tracker out of the bike. I mean, it sounds simple when you're saying it, but I'm guessing it's. It, does is it complicated? Because it you know sounds pretty easy from the way you're describing it. Uh, really and truly, you just look at the battery. If there's more than two wires coming off the battery, you just follow those wires down. It's probably the side panel, front panel, and then you just see a little block. So that's a little block that's bleeping red. Then you just rip it out, or it says. GPS on there, if there's got SIM card in there, just rip it out, snap it, chuck it. Have you ever felt like, you know, using these, you know, skills that you have to do other things that isn't like stealing bikes? Uh, not really, not really. Is it just because it makes too much money? Uh, it's a lot of money to be made. On average, let's say a month, how many bikes would you, would you steal and how much would you make as well? Probably around about 30 bikes, 35 bikes. So, some of them sell, some of them don't sell, probably around about 25 grand, 30 grand. First of all, how do you even steal the bikes? Like, what's, what's your process? S some locks you need tools, some locks I could just do it with my hand. Do it with your hands? Yeah. Okay, let's, yeah, let's, let's go to the bike and see what you can do. Yeah, put that one on it, I'll rip it straight off. What, with your hands? With my hands, yeah. All right, let's do it. How would you steal this? It looks pretty, you know. Literally, completely obliterated, basically. These are like the worst bike locks to get if, if you were gonna. 100% worst. I'm surprised you don't use like any other specific tools, like a, you know, like a. Um, grinder. Yeah, like a grinder. Have you ever used that before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've used the grinder before. Is that useful? Yeah, so it's easy to get through the big chunky locks and stuff like that. So let's say this bike right here, right? A chain like this. This is not one we've seen before when we filmed the video. How would you take this one? Just rip it. Rip it. So everything is ripping. Yeah, everything is ripping. But then how, how would you rip something like that? It's not even... Look how thin it is from over here. The exact same as the other thing, it just rip. But this is like a chain though. Yeah, chain still rip. The metal will come off, the links will come off. And what about this one? I need a metal pole as the trolley pole or something like that. Well, you just wedge it in there, basically. I wedge it in there and just twist it, twist it and jump on it until it snaps. Has your bike ever been stolen? Never. You want, you want to meet a bike thief? Okay, yeah, why not? Have you got any questions for the for the for the bike thief? What what motivates you? Money. Money. Shit, I get it. Can you show us any basketball moves? <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe I'm a bit shy.
Whoever wins gets the bike. So how, how does it feel you, you want to you want a free bike by being a bike thief at basketball? Life is good, you know what I mean? Thank you, my bro. No worries. Second handshake. Are you going to ride off? Of course. I profited today. Have a nice day. It's not even our bike to give away. Real life is wild. Alright guys, we're currently in a notorious bike theft location. I've set up a bike behind me and I'm gonna steal it. We're gonna see if anybody tries to stop me, how long it takes. Because I can't really trust the bike thief's techniques, it wasn't that sophisticated. I have also brought a, uh, a bolt car, just in case, you know. No need to be afraid, I'm not gonna kill anybody, it's just, don't worry. It's not, it's not what you think, guys. <laughs> Calm down, bro. Before I stole the bike, I was extremely nervous. I did a few laps up and down the road to get... What the, wait, why did I do that up and down the road to get... To get myself in the mode to steal my own bike. I am about to steal a bike with a gazillion people in front of me. What a surprise, literally nobody stopped me, you know? Who, who would have thought in London that crime doesn't get stopped? You know, I don't really blame them, you know? I'm like a big guy. I'm a big black. Two seconds later, this lady stopped me and started questioning me. Have you sent it? Not written, well. You've got four letters right? and you're off. No, these, they're, um, this is like, this is my phone. What? She then actually started to call the police. So I told her this was just a YouTube video and this is what she had to say. Yeah. You don't look like a bike thief to me. Really? No, you don't. Did look you ever like... meet a bike thief? No, and if I ever do, I'll fucking kill you. You could them. look like well. him. What about if I was like, if I was like this? Yeah. Hello, Hello. Okay. Hello. Yeah. And some people will say, black guy, up to no good. Mm. Okay. Now I'm thinking about how you talk, how you spoke. I, I don't think you look quite dodgy enough. Who would have thought someone who looks like me would be told, I don't look dodgy enough? They call me upper lower class. Yeah, you're well spoken. Well spoken, yeah. In fact, I was so innocent looking that this lady started to introduce me to another friend. This is Ralph. Hello, Ralph. Nice this is my friend Chris. Oh, Chris. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. And then they gave me tips on how to be a better thief. Who would have thought? Okay, so what would you do if your bike was stolen? Oh, I'm from Copenhagen. I'm from Denmark, so coming here to London, I would start build up aggression towards the whole system that kind of validates that it's okay to steal bikes. I have a bike that I'm not even bringing out, that I bought, brought from Copenhagen, and I'm not bringing it to the streets because I don't want to lose it. Do you feel like London has that reputation of like, you know, you can't leave your bike around? Yeah, yeah, really, really a lot, yeah. You, you see like three guys and they come with a and then people are just walking by because they're just like numb because it's kind of just accepted, that's, uh, that's how it is. But from uh, li like a whole societal uh, point of view where you want people on the street, you want people on the bike, it's really annoying that it's all just uh, ultra-processed foods and just uh, don't move, just sit on your screen. That's <laughs> Well, Sorry, friend. I'm old. Thank you very much. What's your name? Thank you. Tommy. 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 Real life is wild. Yes, it is, especially in London. Especially. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank, Thank you. Sorry about my past life. Sorry, but we 
just missed Sorry it had to end up like this Sorry if I caused you pain Sorry I forgot your name Sorry but you left me out in the rain How old are you? Twelve. Would you ever steal a bike? No. Why? Because they paid for it. Last time, I got a bike. The first day, someone stole it. What would you say to him if you could say anything to him? Um, nothing. I mean, you say nothing to, to your bike thief? Oh, if someone stole my bike? Yeah, and it was someone that you just saw? Oh, uh, I'll say, I'm thinking, your parents can't afford a bike. <laughs> Nobody knows what's going to happen. And then we film it. That's the whole concept. That's how we've always done it.